It's because there's a storm brewing. And we went through a big battle with the budget this year at the State House. And everybody's all happy because they think that it's right and everything is fixed. You're, I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad you're willing to take action because that budget is about to collapse and I'm concerned enough about what's going on that I asked Susan to come back and talk specifically about the budget, what she thinks is going to happen and what we need to do when it starts to go bad because you know, Kathleen's just really more worried about D.C. than she's worried about us. Do you agree? Yeah. Susan, come on up. Thank you. Okay, folks, I'm going to give you a little budget lesson. Twice a year, the state of Kansas has some financial experts get together, and they take a look at the revenue that's been coming in from your income tax, your sales tax, your franchise taxes, all your property taxes. They take a look, and they project what they think is going to happen in the next year. And every year, we have to make our ba budget balance. In Kansas, we can't print money like they can in the U.S. government. And so we do have, thankfully, one rule that says that we cannot spend more than we're taking in. Now, this group, and that's good that we have it, all right. This group meets twice a year. When they met in November, it was right after the stock market crash, and they adjusted our numbers down, and they said, you know what? It's a little blue out there. The sky's getting dark. We're worried that maybe this stock market crash is going to hurt investments. And they said we would have to adjust the income coming into the state, the sales taxes that you pay on groceries and on goods. Everything you pay, we're going to have to adjust it downward. We came in. We cut budgets. There were times when I'd walk out into the hallway and the lobbyist would say, Susan, you can't cut anymore. You've got to start raising taxes. You just can't cut as much as you want to cut. Luckily, the legislature prevailed. The governor did line out and veto some of the cuts that we've sent her, but we just passed, when we left uh, the legislature just a few short weeks ago, we passed a budget that cut spending. Now, here's the big problem. The revenue adjusters are meeting again. They are meeting right now. And the financial experts have gathered around the table, and on Friday, this is Wednesday, I believe, just in two days, they're going to come out, and they're going to come out with what they think are the revenue estimates for the next year. And I don't believe that with the troubles we've been having here in Wichita with more aircraft layoffs, and the way with a lot of us, you know, we're living within our budget. We've pulled back our spending. We're going to find out most likely on Friday that we're going to have to cut more spending in order to meet the zero budget balance there. But let me tell you something. We've passed some cuts, and there's going to be a lot of voices in the Capitol Hall saying, stop cutting. And they're gonna, there's already talk about if this if this budget crashes here on Friday there is talk about a tax increase so you've heard other speakers up here say we're not going to go to sleep this is the beginning of the revolution this is the beginning of the tea party we're here to stay what we're going to need you to do, we go back, the legislature reconvenes, the Kansas legislature reconvenes on the 29th of April. It's a Wednesday. And we have to make the budget balance. And we get a lot of people, there's a lot of taxpayer-funded lobbyists up there, you know. Every agency sends one. Every school, every community, everybody that's living off of your tax dollars has a lobbyist up there that is paid to get more tax dollars. So we're gonna, if there is a move, if the economy looks down on Friday, if the budget revenue estimates have to go down, if we have to cut more spending, then I, we need you, AFP needs you on the phone calling your legislators. You need to say, cut spending. Don't increase taxes. I'm cutting spending. I'm living within my means, and it's time that the government does the same.
Okay. Okay, so the one one advantage we have, you know, they don't really give this message out on TV and radio very often, but one way that we can get the word out about what's happening with the budget is if you sign up over at the AFP table, and they aren't going to sell your email to anybody, the only thing they're going to do is keep your email so that you know what's going on in Topeka and in Washington. And when we have a need, and let me tell you folks, tax increases only pass around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. They they never pass during the daytime when you're calling. If you leave your email at the table over there, AFP will send you out notices about what the legislature is doing and they will send you out names of people to call and they will help you network and help you get your message out. That's why we asked you to register for this. That is why we asked for your email addresses. It's our way of communicating. It's our way of stopping tax increases. And they'll do that for federal issues. They'll do it for the state issue. And a serious, a serious time is coming up here quickly in just a couple weeks. I believe that with the downturn in the economy, it's most likely that we will have to cut budgets. And I will be a voice to cut budgets, but I'm going to need your help. There's going to be a lot of taxpayer-funded lobbyists wanting more money. So please sign up. Please sign up at the desk over here before you leave. There are people over there. Stay in touch. Listen to the real story from AFP. And stay networked with us. And, and stay, stay active. Stay involved. Thank you very much.